Population. Since the Roman times, the census has been designed to do that, at least count us the population. And so this attribute here, it looks like it's the seventh one in the list. That's population. T O pop. And if I double click on that, I get this guy over here with a dot that says T O pop. I get a two under this dot size and I get a seven thousand in my dot value. So I'm just going to hit OK and this is what I get. Okay, so that is a really bad dot density map. Does everybody know the kind of map we're going for here? Figure that out. So let's fix it. If you double click on that, th these are the most important three parameters in the dot density map. Number one, uh, the dot size, number two, the dot value, and number three, the dot color. So before I get too far, I'm going to make sure I'm looking at the whole extent of New York by right clicking on the layer I'm interested in and saying zoom to layer. And then I'm going to go back into that properties dialog and I'm going to say, by double clicking on this, I want these dots to be red to achieve a nice visual contrast with white. And I'm going to uh, say OK. For those of you who didn't see me do that, I'm going to do it again. This time I'm going to change it to black. OK. And just for effect, I'm going to change it back to red. OK. So red is good for visual contrast against white, especially when we have small dots, that's important. And so this is saying that the dot size is two point, by the way, uh, random aside, <clears throat> point is a unit of measure. When you're talking about 14 point type, does everybody know that a point is actually 1 72nd of an inch? So two point, pretty small. Um, for dot value, can anybody guess what that number is referring to, 7,000? Yeah. One dot equals that many, in this case, people. That's right. So one dot equals that many people. So if I change this number to seven, I'm going to have a hell of a lot more dots on my map. A thousand times as many, right? So there's a balance between how many I, dots I want. So I'm going to change this to uh, 200. And I'm going to hit OK. So that's a bad choice. Back to work. I'm going to change this to 500. Getting better. And then lastly, I have an idea to make this better. I'm going to change my dot size to 1. OK. Good. All right. So walking through that again, I chose a nice red dot for the primary symbol. I chose a dot size of 1 and a dot value of 500. Now I have a map of New York City where one red dot for every 500 human beings. This does a good job of showing me where the most densely populated areas of the city are and where the most sparsely populated places in New York City are. That's all this map is going to do for me, which is great, the spatial distribution of humans. Since the theme of our map is all about human beings being educated, being employed, and being poor, we want to know where the actual human beings are. So this is a good thing to include in our layout. With that in mind, I'm going to rename this by right-clicking on it, going to Properties, and changing the General, on the General tab, changing this to uh, People. All right, so now I have a poverty map, a people map, and a college education map. Right, Jeff? We're almost there. We're almost to the next step. Let us now go back to core flip mapping really quick. And each of you on your own now, Go in here, see if you can find unemployment, and make a nice core plot map of unemployment in New York City. All right? 
This is me teaching you how to fish. I'll be doing it up here, so if you, if you don't know how to start, I'll, be, I'll get you started. Um, but then we'll spend 10 minutes mapping unemployment in 2000, remember. 